myself ashok assistant professor computer science department from rohini college of engineering and technology in this video we are going to see about elements of a parallel and a distributed computing so first let's see about elements of parallel computing so in parallel computing processors are used so processor connecting huge collection which means grant uh, uh, it solves grant challenge problems processing of multiple tasks simultaneously one multiple processors is called parallel processing programming on a, a multi processor system using the divide and conquer technique it divides a single task into many subtasks is called parallel programming workload can be shared between different processors it uh, uh, increasing uh, with if we increase number of cpus and communication will be enabled if required so it increases number of cpus and communication will be enabled if required the development of parallel processing is a being influenced by many factors computational requirements means scientific and business computing so it it will be used in aerospace geographical information system um, mechanical design and analysis field sequential architectures are reaching physical limitations as they are constrained by the speed of light and thermodynamics laws hardware improvements in uh, pipelining uh, super scalar and the non scalable and require sophisticated compiler technology <coughs> vector processing supports matrix processing and graphics not suit for database sufficient uh, significant development in networking technology is proving the way for heterogeneous computing there are four types of systems single instruction single data system single instruction multiple data system multiple instruction single data system multiple instruction multiple data system so single instruction single data system means it's uni processor so machine capable of executing a single instruction which operates on single data stream so it executes single instruction with the single data so now you can see the single instruction single data system architecture diagram next single instruction multiple data stream which means the uh, it uh, computing system is a multi processor machine capable of executing the same instruction on a on all the cpus but operating on single data uh, on different data stream the same instruction which executed different datas that is single instruction multiple data system so you can see the diagram of single instruction multiple data systems third one is multiple instruction single data system which means multi processor machine capable of executing different instructions on different pes pe means program elements process element but all of them operating on same data set here the processor is different and data set is same last one is multiple instruction multiple data set multi processor machine capable of executing multiple instructions on multiple data sets each element in the multiple instruction multiple data set model has separate instruction and separate data streams so now you can see the shared memory of multiple instruction multiple data architecture 
next uh, distributed computing so distributed computing means a distributed system is a collection of independent computers that appears to its user as a single coherent system with a single unit a distributed system is one in which components located at networked computers communicate and <coughs> coordinate their actions only by passing messages the components of distributed system interaction of several components that traverse the entire computing stack from hardware to software collaboration of several elements that by working together give users the illusion of a single coherent system the bottom layer of a distributed system is computer and network hardware it consists uh, it uh, constitute the physical infrastructure and managed by operating system provides inter process communication ipc process scheduling and management and resource management in terms of file system and local devices hardware plus operating system is equal to platform then hardware uh, plus operating system plus specialized software is distributed system the middle layer of distributed system the middle layer is to build a uniform environment for the development and deployment of distributed application applications by relying on services offered by the operating system the middleware develops its own protocols data formats and programming languages or frameworks for the development of distributed applications it hides all the heterogeneities of bottom layer thank you so much